Angeles, California. Now back to Washington Watch with Roland Martin. Earlier we talked about images of African American women in the media, and one of the media's target is First Lady Michelle Obama. Well, namely, Fat Rush Limbaugh. How difficult is it for black women to get mass media approval? I tackle that with my next guest actresses, Sally Richardson Whitfield, Essence Atkins, Tatiana Ali, and Wendy Davis. Hey, folks, glad you're on the show. Thank, Thank you. For having having us. Us. All right, then. This, this whole notion of images, and when, when you hear these attacks on the First Lady, and I read some, Im, some uh, message boards, and they talk about, uh, you know, how she looks. They talk about, uh, you know, in terms of her hips, talk about her legs. And so you have all these attacks on her. I don't recall folks attacking Laura Bush or Hillary Clinton or even Nancy Barbara Reagan Bush, in the same way. Right. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I think what needs to happen is America needs to see a wider variety of black women in the media. And that's part of the problem. You know, when you look at Hollywood, uh, there tends to be, uh, they tend to lean towards light skinned black women. And I think this is a real problem in our country because when they see brown skinned women on television, they're just not used to it. And Many women in the African American community are beautiful brown skinned women. What's even that? I mean, they, they, they were dogging her arms. But I, her I, tiny I, arms. But I, because they feel like they can. I don't think I don't, that's necessarily true. I think that as black women, we're just not seen enough. Uh, light, dark, it doesn't matter. Period. Yeah, no, what, I, what's happening is that people are being introduced to black femininity through Michelle Obama. And there really is this otherness happening oh my, and, and her style not to mention the fact that we do tear apart women in the media I mean right. no matter what right. you're going to talk about somebody's let's also weight talk about just as a, the responsibility that we ourselves as a community as a society tear apart each other in general I mean if you read any news story and then you look at the comments underneath most often than not they are horrendous and very toxic so I don't think that it's particular to Michelle Obama or any one particular person I think that the, the community is very venomous but, there's but I do think, think that it has been fun. open season mm -hmm. on Michelle <laughs> Obama <laughs> because she is a black woman Hold on, I, I, almost just, I, say it again. I said they're just going to have to get used to that we have a fine sister in the house <laughs> absolutely oh, yeah. to show her athletic arms and right. she doesn't she doesn't have to hide her body like other former first, first ladies, right. no disrespect that we're not as young and youthful as and as in shape. So true. there That's you true. go. Absolutely. And, and they're really gonna is. hate on it. They can't they can't <laughs> like it. Now when we talk about this whole notion of images, there's also a question of who actually controls that. Uh, mm -hmm. and so uh, Tatiana, you know, you made it clear uh, in terms of maximizing the internet, creating your own content mm -hmm. as a way of saying I'm going to be in control of my own destiny. Uh, uh, you know, why was that so important for you to do that versus waiting for some Somebody else would say, okay, here's the show. Well, other than the fact that you'd wait forever, <laughs> I think that, you know, it, you were saying this earlier, there really is um, a necessity for a diverse, uh, diverse depictions of, of blackness and of people of color. Um, we don't fall into just one category, and there seemed to be that was lacking. Um, I want to help create new archetypes. Um, you know, back in the day, as a black actress, you could only play somebody's mammy, right? Then there, it's, the archetypes have gone on and on and on. It's, it's, it's almost like a slow evolution, a very slow progression. So we have to create our own content in order to create new archetypes. That's what's happening with Michelle Obama. This is a new archetype. This is a new type of black woman that a lot of the country and the world, they just They've didn't even know it existed. Never, you know, they didn't even know it existed. Right. But right now in the business in general, there is a recession of black TV shows, black films. We are not working. So there was a time when, we, you know, when we had Love Jones coming out, we had different kind of movies. And now there is nothing out there for us. And it's very important that we create our own. We don't worry about... Uh, the, the the film company, you know, the big studios putting films out for us because right. they're not going to do and, it. And how have each of you uh, tried to expand your brand, if you will, to other areas that you can actually control? So how are you doing that beyond just in front of the camera? 
Well, for me, I've been, I started directing my show, uh, Eureka, mm -hmm. and um, now my, my goal for the last few years is to start doing some indie films, mm -hmm. and that's where we have a little more control. I have a film called I Will Follow coming out, and it's a new uh, organization called Affirm, which is, is um, a group of uh, uh, black uh, film companies that are it's a different way to get our films out there to the people. To get distribution. Yes, mm -hmm. it has to. We have to do it ourselves now. We yeah. can't rely on them because, listen, you hire the people who look like you. Well, the people who are hiring are white. They're not going to hire us, so we got to hire ourselves and yeah. work. I think my sister and I started a production company, Hazard Entertainment. Buppies, which yeah. is a web series, was our first project, and we're production partners on our TV One show, Love That Girl. Um, and it really is, you know, we're not a monolithic group. There are so many stories within the African American community to tell that are just simply not being told. So many, just a huge variety of, of points of view. It's infinite. I'll there are films you. out there being made that are not getting to the public Absolutely. because they're not yeah. the big comedies. They're right. not being, you know, you're not being shot. And, and, and those are not being supported. They're right. not they're being, not being we supported. We have to challenge ourselves well, and to see better films. And, and that's why I raised the point about uh, what you did with the web, but also when I look at Facebook and Twitter, when I look at the fact that when I talked to Will Packer, when they had that came out when they did stomp the yard I mean they really focused on grassroots Grass activism roots. and drove it and so I think you know we could talk about how it's changing but the benefit today is that if you want to uh, go to the other side it's about being creative to tap into your own audience to be able mm -hmm. to get them to see it you know when you when you go to the offices and you knock on the doors and you're trying to get somebody yeah. to open a door for you what they say is well there's no audience for this Ugh. you know that's what happened Buppies was uh, actually written as a TV show and it was at studios and they're like mm, there's no audience for this and we said yes there is yeah, how about we make a web thing. series and we just go directly to the audience directly to black people and we show ended you. up getting five million views May so should, there shows you there was an audience I, 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 let's talk about the game I mean here's an example right. of a show Axed by Perfect a so-called yeah. major network, right. and then uh, BT brings it back out. 7.7 7 million, million folks in the first episode. In cable in cable. So when you see that, you know how does that make you feel? And what does that say about? Wait a minute. It's a black network, TV ones, black network, black people watching, love that girl. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, we now have more options yes. than we used to have. Absolutely. Yes. We do, but I think that there's a part of us that still is so hungry for the approval of the uh -huh. so-called networks, and we're mm -hmm. still kind of clamoring for their attention and the their validation. validation. Exactly, and the Oscars and the Emmys, and, and I think that's a mistake. I think you can, as Tatiana said earlier, I think you can wait until you have cobwebs. The phone won't ring. Wendy, Tashina Arnold, I was at an event and she said that it was 13 years before the end of Martin and everybody loves Chris. Yeah. Yes. yes. She said 13 that years. That doesn't make any yeah. sense. Yeah. If she had been on a big white show, they would have put her on another show right after that. Yeah. Yeah. Immediately. If she was a white actress. I mean, uh, I was just talking to a friend about Charlie Sheen and, you know, he's, he's like <laughs> exploding right before our eyes. And my friend was telling me, you know, oh, well, you know, as soon as he's off of this he's show, saying, he's oh, going to go on another show. Oh, he's yeah. going to make five million an episode. I mean, you know, you're exactly right. There are opportunities there that, you know, that we don't have. And we have to be proactive. We've got to create our own content. And we have to get our content but there, to what our you viewers. Said, but what you said is so right. It's as if we, we have our own network there. We have BET. We have TV One. And we're, even as our own people, we're looking at it going, mm, mm. that's not it's as just good not as, as good this. As. I really want to be on the BIT network. Right. And we have Absolutely. to go, no, we need to support this at and build At the same time, it, I think it would be a mistake to only, you know, serve our community. No, of course. Yeah. Our stories have to go out. But our I stories but I are think the American key, but I think, stories. But I think the key, though, but our stories but are the American key, though, stories, is that period. we don't denigrate what we have right. to say, oh, it's not as good as. Right. We can't think right. of it as less than. Right. There's right. another right. option. Right. Wendy, go ahead. And it is very important for America to experience the black community because this creates diversity and acceptance and inclusion. And that's what has to happen in America. We are absolutely out of time. I'm uh, certainly glad you guys joined us. We had a fabulous time. Sally, Essence, Tatiana, Wendy, thanks a bunch. Thank you. Look so forward much. to the next time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.